All right. I think I might just go lighthouse or something like that and just find a place to sit and try and get a snipe. You can't chat. I, I just want to make it very clear. You can't report people like stats can only give you a little bit of information. Like if someone is wearing a killer helmet at night time and just shoots you from nowhere, like, and you saw that from their stat screen, then that's a very obvious thing that they're probably cheating. But like just going, oh, that person's got an 8KD. You can't use any sort of like reference of KD or survival streak or anything like that as a reference if someone's cheating. That ho there's, a, there's so many things on Reddit where it's like, is this guy cheating? And it's like, dude, there's no fucking reference. The only thing that made that death, like that, that situation sus was how he killed me. Anyone with a 30KD is always cheating? I, no, you can't say they're always cheating. Like, is almost always cheating? No, like if you really wanted to get your KD up, you totally could. If you're running really geared, Avoiding PvP and in a squad, you you could easily get 30 KD. I'm on hardcore using scrappy loadouts and I'm on like 7 KD. Imagine if I actually ran geared and, and tried on that, as in like to just get my KD up. Where do I... Maybe we're just sitting in the extract. Hmm. I don't know where to sit. This is a stupid spot to sit up here. literally just said in my guide that you shouldn't sit up here. Good old fog. It's such a bad play that people won't expect it, making it a 500 IQ. I've got a top secret plan. I'm going to get out of our trenches on the whistle blast and sprint all the way to the enemy trenches. So that's precisely what we've done the last 15 times. Precisely. They'll never expect it.
How do you look left and right while running? Hold your mouse wheel down. I don't have contact either, it just sucks. Hello? Excuse me, sir? Surely there's people being here. Looks looted. Snitching, thanks for 34 months. Uh, my light, Miley time, thanks for the six months. I think the 20 plus for Grand Zero will be after the wipe. I'd be very surprised they added it before, before it now. And it's kind of like a scapegoat for them, hey? They can just be like, oh. Did I just get shot in the back? One. Dude was naked.
Probably worth us extracting for the, uh, for the gun. It did hit me, but why did it do no damage? What? Why did it do no damage? Need one more lot house. Shoot it won't kill. Sorry about the background noise. It'll be uh, only today. Maybe a little bit tomorrow. Part of me wants to reset, but I also wouldn't mind just killing one scav to get a bit of a loadout. If I can. We just reset at this point. Unlooted rogues, not worth it. Not risking two guns for the for a rig and an armor. Uh, is it is it Coco? I'll just call you Coco. I don't know. I don't think that's your name, but um. Any chance of doing the mill to, to raid? Um, I like the idea of doing it. I'm just trying to figure out how to do it. Cool to do like a full military playthrough. But it'd be like also a little bit lame. I, in my head, I kind of see it as being a little bit lame, but. I'm sure non-military people would probably think it's sick. Twonkly, thanks for the nine months. <sighs> so good to get that kill. We got one of the Tarkov shooter kills and uh, we're at four or five for Shooter Born Heaven on Lighthouse. So you're bleeding, yeah. I wonder where that guy was sitting, because I must have ran straight past him. Aim Lab can help with Tarkov. No, I think Factory. Factory and Arena. The problem with Aim in Tarkov is every rig changes your sensitivity. So even if you do muscle memory, like practice for, for flicks and stuff, it doesn't really help as much because like in CS, doesn't matter what gun you use, you have the exact same sensitivity. In Tarkov, you put a different armor on, you've got a different sensitivity. You change your, your sight, you have a different sensitivity. Oof. I hate this fucking spawn. I've got to see if I can see the player before they see me. Pest. Love the content. Just bought a house last month, so the sub will now come to an end. That's okay, bro. The Congrats on the house. Instead. Peace and love. Thanks for the uh, nine months, bro. Congrats on buying a house. I saw two, two guys. Where? Were they running? Left to right, top middle ish. I'm 
going to trust you guys that they're already on the way out. And I'm just going to go for them. It's probably reading the sub message. I don't, I don't know why they would go left here and not straight down into the village. I've... Am I missing them? Are they in the village? Chat, did you actually see people? Or oh, hear him? Oh, that's a scary gun. Oh, there he is. Oh, I didn't go as far that time. Fuck. I was always going to go back in there and he was going to walk straight into it. Clever girl. It's a long shot, but I could go around to this side. I don't know how good a side he's got. And I might be able to shoot him from around here. Please go up this hill, or is it 
to advance my crawling capabilities. You said there was two chat. All right, chat, don't lead me astray. Where do I cross over here? Can I cross over here? That would have enough to heal the heavy blade. I thought it was like 125. Fuck. All right. I'm just gonna WK this guy. WK this guy. Don't really have much of a choice. I'm gonna lose the gun either way. We got two Tarkov shooter kills and we got, um... Should have won't have finished, so... There's no way he's not like he's not covering the bodies. Which is the, where was the one I killed? Was it the next rock over, was it?
Wait, did he pick up the gun, did he? Was the gun missing? Okay, yeah, got both the guns. Guys, this is actually a huge win because if we can survive the raid, this ammo is like M700 ammo. We've got max um, max metabolism, so we don't take any damage from it being dehydrated, but we will struggle to get endurance. Yeah, we're not far from the extract. Level 51's max. He took the contacts too. Bit rude. Unless the dude just ran straight out. There's a good chance he just chucked their guns. I could have chucked him in the water. That's why I reckon squads shouldn't have um, insurance. Only solo players. Uh, yeah, I'm just getting isolation put on the roof. Oh, all oh, bears as well. No, I actually just straight up think that only solo players can get insurance. So if you go in, a, in as a squad and something's insured, you just don't get it back. I think it would. I think it would. Um, like squads already have such a big advantage. I think it would just level it out a little bit. Because like that situation right there is the exact. Um, ex a perfect example of uh, like I got I killed two, but not the third, and the third got away. But he also was able to like 
ditch all his mate's gear somewhere or, or run off with it and hide it somewhere. And or say I was to die to the third guy, then he has to pick between looting my gear or taking his mate's gear out. SP's the better one, yeah? You didn't kill all three? I didn't. Why should you be rewarded? You didn't kill all three. Why should the three man who goes into a three man that dies, two of them die to a solo, why should they be rewarded? Put that back on you. Why do you think the squads should fucking have that, that privilege? You chose to play solo? Not everyone can have friends, mate. Just, you coming in here flexing you got friends and shit? Get the fuck out. All right, we need food. We need drink. That's what I'll do. All right. What map do we want to snipe next? I guess woods. Woods, shoreline, customs, interchange. Oh man, so many kills still to go. Maybe we go. Well, woods doesn't really matter because it used to be you had to do taco shit apart eight on woods, but now I don't. I don't have to. So maybe I should just do woods. You could also farm sniper scavs. Yeah, get some ammo. Let's do woods. some cash for the car. It's sick that we got those kills then. Makes me happy. Punisher part six can be sometimes really good and sometimes really bad. Like you might get a raid where you get five kills with the SVD and then you get like three deaths in a row. And then if I have to go find more SVDs, that's really friggin' annoying. I want to get all the sniper stuff done because I don't have to hold on to snipers and be paranoid about losing a sniper rifle. That's the most annoying part. Like if, if all we have to do is farm insomnia, it's like, pff, we just go nighttime with guns and just hunt players. Like it's fun. But when it's like, oh, I need to have, you know, gear for my, um, for my snipers, it's, it's a bit more worrying. Hmm. What party, Pacific Gunsmith 11? The Vector six inch barrel and the other item. I can't remember what the name of it is. If I saw it, I'd know it. I'm not sure where to go for this. Do you think we camp the car extract? No. A sunken village area. I want a third party. That, that, that's going to be definitely the easiest way to get it. Okay. Might be a player kill scav on the road here. That's a scab for sure. Are you fucking serious? You can actually see the car from here, but. Gone. What a fucking joke. I should just camp the car. The amount of people just run straight to the car and extract just to get their scav rep up. Makes no sense. Or at least, like, do something in the raid, then go to the car. Scav rep or no Sturman? I got no idea. I 
don't really get the car extract on woods daily. I always get the streets one. It's got an SKS. Was there lag? Was there? Wasn't paying attention. Unless I'm farming bosses, I don't even think about it. Someone over at Yusek Camp. Funny if this packet lost just running camp car. Could work. There was a shot over near you set camp. If you get an early spawn, this can be a really good spot. Because there's usually one or two people that will come through this way. This used to be one of the spots I'd go for should have in heaven. Let me give it a couple of minutes. Pretty good chance someone will run by. Hmm. It's over at spine. Might be a little bit further than spine actually. Sounds pretty far. You've been well, mate. Are you going to dream hack? I think you are, aren't you? Check the ammo spawns and head out. The Mosin and the M700 are the only ones you can top load. Mm, for the Balties? I think so. You can top load an SKS, but that's not a Balti. Could 
be a little bit careful. I don't want to spend all my ammo. No, I don't think you can top load an axe, MC. It's not good. I'm dead. I think I hit him. You still play Rust? Nah, I uninstalled it. I go through the exact same emotions every time I play Rust. Oh, primitive. So much fun. Oh, cool little base. Oh, we're being tour camped. Oh, we just got smacked by a mega Chad squad of 10,000 million hour gamers. Oh, we lost all our good gear. Oh, now we're being camped again. Oh, now we can't even leave our base. M80 huge. SP, 12 A's. I feel like um, Rust can put you more into like behind, like once you get to a certain point, you, you kind of can't redeem in my, like, because once you get, a geared group of players near your base, you can't really leave the base without them putting you on farm. Whereas in Tarkov, at least like you go to a different map, you can try something different, you can zero to hero, you can do all these other things, you can buy a new loadout. In Rust, it's like once you get punished to a certain amount, or even if they raid your base, you have to go to a totally different area. And it's just... I don't know. It Generally speaking, I only play the, like the wipe day or like one day and I have fun with it and then I get off. Need to jump on DayZ. DayZ is worse, bro. The, the, the thing about DayZ, it's like you, you can spend four hours running around for one intense moment and then it's all over. The only part that would redeem DayZ is by doing... <laughs> RP servers or something like that. That's literally the only way. Yeah, Rust makes for better YouTube videos, but it's just, yeah. Daisy is about the journey. All right, last defib needed. It's actually kind of huge. One, two, cool. So what time's the lag? 48. Maybe I'll just camp the car if it's lag. No lag. So boss is up. So now we're going to have like seven players to kill. Wonderful. Will the gunsmith be hard? I've got about five items left. And if BSG adds the barter trades I requested, I probably have to find one more in raid. And then I came in. Right, 
We just need to hunt the Sturman Hunters. We don't have to go for Sturman. I'm glad. Marble Scab, what gun do you have? Come back for it later. Hasn't. Haze Nate, thanks for the uh, 500 bits, dude. And Funkus Beef, thanks for the uh, eight months. That, that sounds inside, which means it's in the bunk a bit. Would have thought we would have heard Sturman by now. What are you guys thinking? Shore goons are on woods. The fuck, they sounded like it came from my left. Like a ricochet. I want to flank around, case. It's shot from high, like potentially like sniper scav. Or two players, I'm dead. I need a bush, I need something to hide in. I wasn't hallucinating. There was two players on top of that, yeah?
fuck did he go? That sounded super close. Was he prone? Where is this Houdini? Literally won't give me a single view of him. Has anyone seen him at all? He's sprinting. Honestly, it sounded like someone was sprinting up behind me. Just a weird raid. I don't think that was the same one that was shooting at me. That was that guy I had an SVD. The guy that shot at me had a um a Mosin initially. I had a pretty good day so far though. A little bit of frustrating moments, but I think I want to farm more sanitar. Woods has always been a weird one. Sometimes you get like five kills in a raid of woods, and another time you're like you'll just struggle to see a player. We're ages away from Psycho Sniper. We need oh we we're on three of five for interchange. Oh that's right, we killed all the people on the outside. Five customs, three shoreline, two interchange, four woods. It's not that bad. All right. Let's uh, let's finish this one up here. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We got goons down. We got Sanders key. What else did we get? Should have born heaven done on lighthouse and streets. We got Tarkov shooter, four, five, and six done. And we got a heap of seven. A three or five for seven. That's actually quite nice. But yeah, much love. Appreciate the support. If you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe if you've gotten to this point. You should have, have to be subscribed by this point.